uh, Vegas Post. So this is like the the follow up to the old Sony Vegas, which was then became Magic's Vegas Vegas Pro. Now it's just called Vegas Post, and it's a suite of software, uh, still made by Magic's. Um, but this is like for all the people who maybe are still using the Sony Vegas, which I think that you know it became popular. I suspect just because it was easy to pirate. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't know that for sure, but I do know that it it was the easiest of the uh, the, the big apps to, to be able to pirate. So just a guess. Um, but but now they have a new version, Vegas Post. Yeah, so they I got a, a a call on this, and and their big thing was that really Sony Sony left uh, Vegas to wither away. They weren't supporting it. They weren't adding any innovation to it. They were just letting it go, and then they went, oh yeah, you want to buy it? Get it out of here. Yeah. But as I understand, the Vegas team actually went with it. So the purchase was actually the Vegas. So the people that are working for Magics with Vegas were those that were making it under the old ownership. So it was more like the company got sold than, or than you know, uh, got just the name went somewhere in the software, um, which is pretty cool. And so they've been able to do some updates to it and better supports, but that Magics also owns Hit Film, uh, right? FX Home. Oh, uh, FX Home. FX, FX Home, I'm sorry. So there's like, uh, there's like a partnership going on here between magics and vegas and fx home and hit film yeah so uh, I, mean, I don't know yeah it's so the idea is that you're you're getting titling and uh a 3d so it's really this is your premiere and your after effects um suite right this is and their big thing was um we only make video products so unlike those others that start with an a you know adobe uh you're not paying for a web designer when you don't do um web designing you know you don't have to pay for that in your suite uh and because of that you can uh get it for like 21 or 22 dollars a month the little suite which i thought that was the biggest thing about it all that was really uh an important thing for me is that uh some places are not set up to do a capital expenditure to buy something so even though uh resolve might be well free if you don't need all the features but 300 or um uh, final cut pro which is 300 dollars uh, or um, we can't buy uh, Adobe stuff. Uh, but And this is, if you want a perpetual license, it's $1,000, which is a little high being that their monthly cost is 22. Uh, take a lot of uh, licensing to do that. Well, but, how, how often do you, how, how do you get the, the updates forever like you do with Final Cut Pro? No, so the, uh, the updates are, so they, they said there's two things, there's updates and upgrades. So updates, are you know you might get a new feature from here to there, but it's mostly just making sure compatibility and things are working. You're working out bugs. They're doing those kinds of bug fixes and and small things that happen. The upgrades are usually very definitive uh, things that you're getting for the money, mm-hmm. is how they put it. Uh, and so I was like, well, you know, I'm like, but you know, the the updates that that like say uh, Apple's done to um, Final Cut Pro have. And well, in their support been more important, you know, being that they can support higher resolutions, that kind of thing, but they haven't done groundbreaking changes or upgrades to the program. They've just made it stable and work and continue to go or whatever. So I, I get that. Um, and then just the big thing is that they, they're only, it's only a video product. So you're paying $20, which is, you know, or $22, which is less than half of what you'd be paying for the Adobe suite. Uh, and you wouldn't need to be paying for, uh, you know, uh, whatever program you don't actually use in the suite. Uh, I think if they just made a Photoshop-like product, then I could get into it a little bit more. Uh, and uh, it doesn't have an audio suite currently, so that's that's the other thing for me that I, that would be missing. But that's because I'm. Uh, it's important to me. Um, you know, most could handle just having a, a doing their audio editing and their sequencer. I I like to dig a little deeper if I can. 